No, absolutely. You know, when I started in Central America in the mid 80s, we, we used to wear these t-shirts which said, no me tire, yo soy periodista, don't shoot me, I'm a journalist. But they were, that was a joke, because no one would dream of shooting a journalist. It was, it was given that you were hors de combat, you were not part of the, of, the, of, the, of the fighting parties, and you could cross sides. And we used to regularly do that. In El Salvador and Nicaragua, you would cross lines, sometimes on the same day, and talk to the FMLN in the mountains, and then come back down to Salvador and talk to the, to the army. That all changed with 9-11. And it's made the, the, the job of working out why conflicts uh, fester much harder. I would love to know why the Taliban do what they do. I don't really understand them. I, you can make suppositions, but, but I've never interviewed a Taliban apart from some guys that have been kept in, uh, you know, been arrested by, by, by US forces, and, and that's not really a, a, a conducive to, to, to good interview. Uh, the same with Al Qaeda. Um, and the same in spades with, with ISIS. Um, I just had dinner last night with a, a colleague from, former colleague from CBS News, and she was saying how um, they had a very brave female correspondent who wrapped herself up, and she speaks Arabic, and had gone in towards Raqqa to try and uh, interview some folks, but you know, she didn't get very far, and she had to withdraw. Um, we've seen what happened to Jim Foley and, and Steve Sotloff, who were so brutally beheaded. Uh, it, it not only makes it more dangerous, but the, the major news organizations now pretty much won't send people uh, into these areas, particularly Syria. Um, one, because they don't want to endanger their folks. Two, because the insurance companies won't let them. Uh, and so that, that vacuum is being filled by freelancers who don't have the same uh, support, the security details, uh, the health insurance, the medivac uh, facilities that you know, staff correspondents have. Um, and Jim and Steve were both freelancers. Um, there have been some exceptions. You probably saw that Vice uh, sent a, a journalist to Raqqa. Um, I thought that was great. Uh, some questions were raised about how, how much they had to compromise their objectivity to get into Raqqa. Well, yes, clearly they, 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 they couldn't stand up and start objecting right in the middle of a firefight, but, but you know, it, it produced some footage that was helpful. But that, there isn't a lot of that coming out. And so to, this task of trying to understand why ISIS are doing what they're doing is, is become much harder now because of the lack of access.